I'm gonna live right now where I can do whatever the f I want. Nobody tell me what to do. This is Dan Bilzerian. And even if you're not a poker fan, the name is likely still familiar. It's a name that once reverberated across social media and the poker world. It's a name that rose to fame as the poster child for the extravagant, high-stakes lifestyle, known for lavish parties, opulent displays of wealth, and poker excellence. But Dan Bilzerian's meteoric rise was not as fast as his subsequent and dramatic fall from grace. Tamayo wins the pot and knocks off Dan Bilzerian. One venture capitalist down, one to go. Let's figure out how it all went down. But before we get into it all, make sure to subscribe to Poker Boom. We release new videos every single week, and we appreciate you being here to check out the channel. Let us know in the comments what other poker stories you would like for us to cover. Daniel Brandon Bilzerian was born on December 7th, 1980 in Tampa, Florida. He was the son of corporate takeover specialist Paul Bilzerian and Terry Steffen. His childhood was marked by wealth, with his father's success in the business world ensuring a comfortable upbringing. However, his family's reputation was tarnished when his father was charged with securities and tax-related crimes, ultimately serving time in federal prison. I sucked, man. I, you know, you got to go to school, and, and all these kids are making fun of you, and your dad's going to jail. It's like I was kind of traumatizing moment. Dan Bilzerian's early adulthood was marked by a stint in the Navy SEAL training program, where he was eventually discharged before completing his training due to safety violations with firearms. If I don't quit and I pass all my stuff, like they can't kick me out. But I, I didn't think they could like just drop you, you know? The experience would later be a part of his narrative when he sought to establish an image of himself as a rugged and fearless individual. His journey to start and began in the mid 2000s when he discovered poker. In college, my brother taught me how to play poker and uh, went broke my sophomore year and then started to figure it out and uh, kind of never looked back since. With a substantial trust fund at his disposal, Bilzerian ventured into high stakes cash games in Las Vegas. He quickly gained recognition for his aggressive playing style. Wait, hold on, who's like king three? I did. Oh. Hey, just, just f***ing take it easy, okay? Every Every man. Holy sh and his willingness to wager massive amounts of money. So at any point, if this guy says all in, I gotta make a decision for $18 million, you know? So that to me was like probably one of the most stressful um, periods of time. Bilzerian's poker skills and charismatic persona made him a rising star in the poker world, attracting attention from both fans and fellow players. His social media presence played a pivotal role in catapulting him to fame. Bilzerian's Instagram account filled with images of private jets, exotic cars, luxurious mansions, and an entourage of attractive women, garnered millions and millions of followers. He presented himself as the epitome of the American dream, portraying a life of hedonism and excess that many aspired to. He objectifies women on a mainstream platform. You make women, according to them, props. And this extravagant lifestyle was supposedly fueled by his poker winnings, his lucrative endorsements, and social media revenue. He hosted epic parties that became the stuff of legend. His parties, which featured A-list celebrities, professional athletes, and beautiful women, were often documented and shared with his millions of followers. He relished in the image of a carefree, invincible playboy, riding motorcycles, shooting guns, and living life on the edge. He had two heart attacks before 30 years old, which he attributes to a life of cocaine and Viagra. I did some cocaine, and he's like, and? And I was like, and I did some Viagra, and like my girlfriend's, and my dad, at this point, my dad's like looked over at me like, what the f but while Dan Bilzerian's rise to stardom was meteoric, it was also fraught with controversy. For someone who appeared to have it all, the logical next step seemed to be the creation of a brand. Man, we've just like gone all these different directions, but where I've landed is nicotine, alcohol, and energy. So in 2019, Dan Bilzerian made a bold move by taking his brand Ignite public. At the time, Ignite sold electronic cigarettes, CBD oil, water bottles, and vodka, among other products. Bilzerian anticipated a massive influx of investment. However, his expectations were dashed as investors remained hesitant, causing the stock price to plummet from 250 to a mere 54 cents per share. I think also people don't really understand too much about business and they look at it like, oh my God, the company lost $50 million in a year and it's like, well, Uber lost five billion and a quarter. It appeared that putting faith in a professional poker player may not have been the most attractive proposition for potential investors, ultimately resulting in substantial losses for the company. This financial setback was not the only blow Bilzerian had to contend with though. His carefully cultivated image of opulence that surrounded him began to crumble. When it was exposed, the lavish $65 million mansion that he had flaunted as his own was in fact not his property. Shockingly, he had been defaulting on rent payments for a long period of time. 
And then doubts began to emerge about Bilzerian's poker skills, which was of course once his claim to fame. The trust in his very foundation was shaken, and speculations arose regarding his alleged mismanagement of his trust fund money. In a revelatory interview with Larry King, Bilzerian disclosed that he had entrusted the entire trust fund to his brother Adam. Paul Bilzerian, did you get a trust from him? I did, but I gave it to my brother. And as if these revelations were not shocking enough, it was later revealed that his father, a convicted felon who was legally prohibited from engaging in any trading activities, had been running his company behind the scenes all along. The turn of events not only raised questions about Bilzerian's financial acumen, but also shattered the trust of his followers and of his investors. The once seemingly invincible icon found himself in a precarious position, grappling with the consequences of a tarnished reputation and a brand in turmoil. And these controversies began to catch up with him, impacting his image and his brand. Legal battles coupled with mounting public scrutiny tarnished his reputation. And to top it off, changes in social media algorithms made it harder for him to maintain the same level of visibility and engagement on platforms like Instagram. As the controversies continued to mount, Belzerian faced a decline in poker success. His lavish lifestyle and frequent partying took a toll in his game, leading to significant losses at the poker table. Do you lose? One biggest loss, and I've had it three times. I lost 3.6 million, three different occasions. His once thriving poker career began to crumble, further eroding his status as a high stakes poker player. In recent years, Dan Bilzerian has taken a step back from the public eye. He no longer commands the same level of attention on social media, and his poker career has waned. Bilzerian has made sporadic appearances on various media outlets, but he no longer dominates headlines as he once did. In a recent interview, he said, a lot of people equate money to happiness, and it's not, it's more freedom. What people don't understand is that once your basic needs are met, you don't get incremental happiness for more money. I just think it's because they've upped the bar so far that only the you know, best things satisfy them. And when asked what does make him happy, he said, surfing, hanging with friends, the that doesn't cost money if I'm being honest with you. These days, in an effort to rebrand himself and distance himself from his controversial past, Belzerian is focused on different ventures, including his Ignite business. He's explored acting and even had a few lines in Mark Wahlberg's Lone Survivor, although he ended up suing them because he paid for more. But that's a story for a different day. Dan Belzerian's rise and fall is a tale of the perils of celebrity and of excess. His rapid ascent to stardom and subsequent dramatic downfall highlight the fleeting nature of fame built on controversy and extravagance. And while his name may no longer dominate headlines, his story remains a vivid example of the allure and pitfalls of the high stakes lifestyle. As he continues to navigate the evolving landscape of celebrity, it remains to be seen what the future holds for the man who once epitomized the American dream of wealth, of luxury, and of excess. And that's it for this one. Thank you for checking out the video. What are your thoughts on Dan Bilzerian? Let us know in the comments and make sure to come back next Monday for a brand new poker video. We'll see you then.